everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 234. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Pixel Dan. Wow, you're here. You're <laughs> on in. the couch. I am in, in person. In pixels. I'm sitting on the famous couch. Oh, I don't know about this that. This is thing. famous. The infamous, infamous, <laughs> it's infamous, infamous Toy it's Break infamous couch. couch. This is awesome. Well, thank you for being here. Thank uh, you for having me. We'll this do our great. intro and we'll right. let everybody cool. know who you are. Because they I'll probably see. already know who you are. But no, they probably yeah, You don't. just sit there and make funny faces. Okay. So in case you're wondering, Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including, but not limited to, designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, events, how-tos, amazing reviewer toy aficionado type pe You need like an official title. <laughs> an official title? Yeah, like, I am Pixel Dan. I am a... I like toys. <laughs> <laughs> Is that perfect? That works, right? That's that's there you perfect. go. Perfect. I am a. Like now the little bar on your name is just gonna say <laughs> likes toys. <laughs> likes toys. Perfect. But it's true. It is true. And that's why you're here because you're awesome and you like toys. Thanks. So let's start off as we always do by thanking our site sponsors like ESC Toy, ESC Toy, more art than toy. Superpower Collectibles. DKE Toys. Mr. Toast. 3D Retro. Paysaber. Grumpy Bert. Happy Panda Toys. Black Sheep Button Company. Button Lab. Art Attack Toys. Dragatomi. Tenacious Toys. And Fuzzy Balls Apparel. You didn't Fuzzy Balls it. <laughs> fuzzy <Ben's> Balls. <laughs> I like it. It's a good name, right? <laughs> and they make some great apparel. Sweet. <laughs> so do we have a contest going on right now, George? Yes, the Custom Key Ooh. Contest by Carson Catlin. To enter, simply head over to the contest section on the forum and post a picture of your drawing of a bear. <laughs> That's it. Draw a bear, That's post it, it up. That's yep, it. and then we'll pick one at random. You don't it's even have so to be a good easy. drawing. Don't bear. If you don't have to be good at drawing, you don't. I've got this. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go with it right now. <laughs> you should. You should totally come come join it. Deadline is October 17th, and don't forget you can follow Carson Catlin at Carson Catlin on Twitter, and check out his dunnies at Tenacious Toys booth at New York Comic Con booth 3121. Beautiful. Thank you so much, George, for that thrilling information. Thrilling information. <laughs> Right. Around a million more times. Now, let's get to what everybody wants to know. That's about Pixel Dan. About me? Yes, we want to talk about you. Okay, let's talk about me. Who so are you? you? Who am I? <laughs> well, well, we know you like toys. I do like toys. I like toys. Uh, well, I, that's actually what I think people know me as. That guy that talks about toys on the internet. Kind of like you guys. No, but we don't know. What's toys? We, what's, <laughs> there are these great things like... Uh, Oh, when did those? Be? Yeah, <laughs> uh, were those always there? So I yeah I do a lot of uh, online video reviews of a lot of things. That I think most mostly what I'm known for is Masters of the Universe. I do lots of things with Masters of the Universe classics as well as the vintage stuff. I'm a huge He-Man fan. Kind of a, a kind of an average size He-Man ner fan. Nerdy. Okay, that's true. Average size He-Man <laughs> fan. I'm not that big. I work out. You know, but, uh, I. Yeah, I love I love He Man. I've been a long time He Man fan, so that's kind of like the thing that I'm most known for. But I mean, I just I love action figures in general, so I do reviews constantly of stuff like Ninja Turtles, and I go you know uh, the Glio stuff. And as you, you know, say, you the, had a lot of the, mass market, but you do a lot of other I, indie I, stuff right, now yep, too. Yeah, I do, I do. Yes, you know, I've I've done like the OMFG stuff that you guys <laughs> do. I love the OMFG stuff. Yay. So yeah, I, I just I kind of you know dabble here and there in lots of different things. I just I, I like toys. So. And you have a bunch of different kind of style shows that you do. And one of the newer ones. One of the newer ones is the Blind Bag Minifigure Madness. Because who doesn't want to open that's, more blind bags? That's right. And yeah, I kind of stumbled on that by. Total accident, actually, really? because uh, I had all these different blind bag toys that I just had picked up at random. You yeah. know, I Very had like awesome. some of the, the, the trash pack stuff and everything like that. And I just thought, you know, it might be kind of fun if I film myself opening these. Just, <laughs> I don't know. I'll try something different. So that's what I did. I literally, I sat at the table. Uh, I had my wife Christina running the camera. I said, just. I don't know, stand back there and film me doing this. I don't know, we'll try this out. <laughs> so I, I just, you know, was opening these toys, and I just, t completely unscripted, just had fun with it. Opened these toys, played with them, had a good time, put it online, and the reaction was just like, I, I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea that people were going to like that so much. And it got to a point where, like, I'd put up, you know, all these regular reviews that I'm, like, spending all this time with a high production quality mm -hmm. and everything, and people would go, Research. Where, where's your blind bag video? We want more blind bag videos. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of became a thing. And I just started doing it on a regular basis. You but know, it's I, fun though, right? It is. It's so much fun. And uh, we were just talking about before filming, there's so many blind bag toys out there Oh, now. it's amazing. They're like everywhere. Yeah. Which and I, is it the surprise factor? Because I think it's like... That that helps, for sure. And it's affordable. Yeah. 
Well, and on an individual basis, it's affordable. If you try to get the whole set of everything. That's true. Right. It's as but expensive yeah, it's, as anything It's else. cheap. They, they throw them up there, like, right at the checkouts now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. like, you're on your way out of the store, and you're like, oh, I'll, just, I'll grab one or two I'll of these. Too, you know? Yeah. yeah, I'll grab a couple of these. So it's so easy just to grab a couple of those and come home. And uh, the My Little Pony ones, of course, have been huge, and, and my wife got real big into collecting yeah. those. So that kind of helped with this whole thing and that I kind of drug her onto the camera with me and that's how she kind of became like you know the co-host of the blind bag minifigure videos awesome. but, but yeah now it's great because now people are constantly like sending things for us to open up on the show or telling <laughs> us to go fun? find sp- it's so much fun and then you get new things that you're like I didn't know yeah that all the time existed. yeah I know uh we had somebody send us some stuff from over in the UK he sent us like the uh the UK exclusive lego minifigures for the Olympics oh nice yeah and those nice. are really cool I would have had no idea those were even out have you opened if- kinder eggs yet I, I, I have done a Kinder Egg in the past, but not okay. on uh, Minifigure Madness. You need to. Yeah. You should make that happen. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, and you can eat them. Uh, I had some of the little, uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's good chocolate, too. It is. I really like <laughs> it's it. It's good. That's, I had some of the little Kinder Hippos with the Star Wars. Oh, uh, yeah, those I got that. Those are so cute. That's, those are awesome. Those they are great. super good. Very cool. But, yeah, so that's that's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm doing well, now, that. where You're are you doing that? Toy where am I doing that? <laughs> I'm doing that at my site at pixel-dam.com. That's where you can always find everything new that I'm doing. That is my name. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, some of my stuff shows up on, like, he-man.org and, and all that, but the best way to see everything I'm doing is right there on the site because... Beautiful. I post everything right there, so it's a good way to follow everything. I'm and doing. you're on all the social networks. All the social your, networks, your yep, toy joy. yep, yep. And it's just Pixel Dan everywhere. So if you go facebookcom slash Dan, twittercom slash Dan, you'll find me. That's so I'm, nice I'm and everywhere. easy. It's very easy, very easy <laughs> to find me. I'm very active on all of them. So, I mean, if you want to follow me, I just talk about random things a lot. I mean, she, she knows. I just I follow. Yay, well. wrestling and stuff. I mean, I don't know no, if that's it's your cup of tea. Plus, yeah, you get there's wrestling fans yeah. up to the minute if he's posting new videos. You're like, oh, sweet, new video. I do oh, like sweet, you I, woke up in Torrance. I pose, yeah, I yeah, woke up in Torrance. Yeah, that was my my. Was that today. really the tweet? Good morning, yeah. Torrance. <laughs> I had a picture of my my view from the hotel. I liked it. Uh, I liked. I put up teaser sometimes, like uh, if I get a box Toy from tees. Mattel. Yeah, Toy Tees. That's gonna be our new show. <laughs> We're copywriting it right now, so you can. You can. Uh, <laughs> Nobody else can. It's ours. I'll get a box from Mattel with like the new Masters figures, and I like to take. You know, little teaser pictures and put them on Twitter. Nice. And that gets everybody going, oh, where's the review? Is it coming? I just, that's fun for me. I don't know. I like you like that. to work them yeah. up? I know, yeah, I like to work them up a little bit. Well, I mean, I, let's be honest. I get emails constantly asking me when the next review is going to be anyway. Oh, yeah, I might as sure. well, like, you know, throw a little. Have fun. Yeah, have, have fun with yeah, it. Yeah, have some fun with it. So, yeah. But. All right. Well, since we have you here, let's, uh, let's use your expertise. Okay. We have a couple announcements, and then we've got some exciting or not exciting toys. We'll find out. I bet they're exciting. I don't know. They're toys. I can't promise. That's true. We can't always promise. I've, I've seen some not exciting toys. <laughs> but first, since New York Comic Con is right around the corner, I think it's like a week from now when this goes up. Sure. There's a couple things we need to tell you that are coming out. Mostly that thing right there. This thing right here? That thing right there. Ooh. Ooh. Boom. Ooh. Ah, this is the Stealth OMFG Let's Series 1. Out. By hey October toys. Hey, that's look us. at that! That's us. This is an exclusive. Hey, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna be there. Watch for the review soon on Pixel Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, they're nice. pretty awesome. Uh, so these are an exclusive color change version. They're the Stealth Edition. Uh, oh. They will be available from us at the O'Neill booth, three two one six. Not sure what time, but watch like our page OctoberToys.com and my Twitter at Aileen Gaspar. It's ten dollars for the set, just like all the other OMFG. It's limited to two hundred sets. There will be some available online if you're not at the show. But, Sweet. But George says you can only buy them during the hours of New York Comic Con. Even Ooh, if it's a New York Comic Con exclusive, That's... so you can only get it oh. during the hours of the con. Getting a little strict like that. I know, and... right? <laughs> I was like, let's just put it up for the weekend. He's if like, they no. don't sell out... That's it. They're not going they're any. They're done. not going to be done elsewhere. That's it. That's the proper way Did to do show? an exclusive, though, right? Did exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so the, they look black, and you're like, oh, cool. They're black, black but black, but <gasps> stealth. <laughs> they turn invisible. They're like the old GI Joe ninjas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't really see on this black table. So look, they're they're stealth. You can't oh, see them. Oh, yeah. He's blending in. <laughs> so if you're goth, this is going to work out really well. I love. <laughs> I like them. Those are awesome. I'm pretty excited about this color. So the way. change to a ghosty kind of color. Kind of hard. Probably kind of hard to see on video. Yeah, but, but you could see it, I think. They're rad. I'm really excited totally about Totally rad. So, for 10 sure. bucks. Um, and cool. also, uh, in October, for the month of October, um, again, from us, but at zombiesandtoys.com, they are going to be selling the 
translucent orange pepper black um, zombie sets. And it's only going to be oh, sold cool. during the month of October. So I'm make sure you head over there and get them. <laughs> they do look like they got some pepper sprinkled on Right? Oh, mm. Those are really cool, though. Nice. Translucent, it's the thing to do. So I know it's not a Comic Con. Do you thing, like translucent toys? So. All right, so some other things you were pointing out that were coming out? New yes. Uh, Ardman Batman action figure. This is by DC Collectibles. It was designed by Rich Weber and sculpted by Phil Ramirez. This action figure is based on the popular interstitial shorts shown during the DC Nation programming block on Cartoon Network. Um, basically, they're Walls and Gromit cartoon version mm -hmm, right. of Batman. Uh, it's $25, and it's going to be sold at the Graffiti Designs booth, which is number 939. Cool. Very cool. That is cool. I'll get that, even if you don't like it. Okay. Well, right. I might be picking up the Misfortune Cat. Okay. This one is created by Ferg, designed by Chris Reiniak. Yay! Hi, Chris. <laughs> uh, it's a four-inch tall ivory edition. It will be available throughout New York Comic Con as a My Plastic Heart exclusive at booth 3313. It's $55, and you can catch Chris signing on Friday at 4 p.m. And I think it's pretty limited, if I remember correctly. I think there's like a hundred pieces. Pretty, or yeah, something. I think it was like a hundred pieces. So they might not have a chance to get Ooh, that. Yeah. Afterwards. It's really cool like, though. It's a nice. It's a nice thing. And especially if Chris is there signing. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Then you can punch him in the face. Take one. Why would you do that? Well, because Chris. That's how it works. I think yeah, it, right? I'll take one with... of your exclusives. <laughs> <laughs> I meant, and then you would hug Maybe Chris Maybe you give deeply. him a hug or something. <laughs> I don't want to punch Chris him in the face. Does Chris likes hugs and grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't think he likes punches in the face. Probably, yeah. Most people don't like punches in the face, I don't think. You can ask him which one he prefers. I, I can't speak for him. I mean, that's just rude on my part. Uh, shall we move on to Blind Box? Let's do it. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind Box time! I do like those. Actually, technically it's Blind Bag today. Blind Bag, yes. Because you're yes. here. Yeah. Pixel Dan's in the house, so it's Blind Bag today. some Blind Bag stuff. Blind Bag time. It's Blind Bag time! So you, you do these guys? Yeah. Okay. You can actually make a phantom outhouse by having the <laughs> phantom <laughs> the phantom pieces while the house is solid. Oh. <laughs> See that? Nice. That's called playing with your toys. All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. What so did you bring us? I you brought, brought goodies. I up I came bearing gifts. I love guests that bring gifts. <laughs> so these little guys I haven't had a chance to actually open any of these yet, but I've had a lot of people emailing me telling me that, that I needed to go pick some of these up. And I think you guys said that you've seen a lot of people talking yeah. about them, too. They're the Predasaurs DNA Fusion. It's just a you know what? We, we haven't have four. Should we have someone else slide into the couch and squeeze we in we for a fourth? We do have a fourth one. We, we should we have should. one more guest we to should slide into we the should. end. We could squeeze for there's one. There's plenty of room. Come for on, one guests. blind bag plenty section. Room. One blind bag. Come on. You can do this. <laughs> You're a, <laughs> you're a you're, professional. You're a professional at this. You're in the blind bag section. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is my wife, Christina. Hi, Christina. <laughs> Welcome See, to the couch. This, this is the same way it is when I have to get her on, on the other show. You, come on, you have to trick her into on. doing it. Like. Is, you can open some ponies. Come on. <laughs> ponies. Get them there. to do anything. All right, so Predosaurs. Predosaurs, yeah. So, Erwin so, toy. It's dinosaurs with weapons. Yeah, they're like dinosaurs. Yeah, how can you not like dinosaurs with weapons? That's what exactly more what need I'm be thinking. said. There's apparently 25 different ones, and there's a rare Volterex, the mightiest predator of them all. <laughs> okay, so what does everybody want? Well, how could you I not would... want Volterex? <laughs> yeah, gotta have uh, Volterex. But I want six. I want the mouth to open. Dian? Oh, he's cool. Dian? I want the leader. He looks like he has like a crown. Number seventeen. Oh, he does have a crown, and his name is Leader. And his name is Leader. <laughs> How could you not want the guy named Nardox? Like <laughs> Nardox. Wait, where is he? I, I think oh, he's number, he's number eight. eight. Oh, I see. <laughs> but I, I really want fifteen because he looks cooler. Nom, but Nardox is a better name. Nom. Ooh, I don't All know. Right. This is tough. Wait, Dan is a bit. Still peeking. It's oh yeah, I know. It's, okay, what about? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's name isn't Leader, it's Hawa. Because oh, he look, is the leader. Each, each, look, there's different tribes. There's oh. the Triassic tribe, the Jurassic tribe, and, and the, the Cretaceous the tribe. Guys, and they've all got leaders. That? Yeah, so I oh. want Enoch. He's the leader of the Jurassic tribe. He's like a big Dude, purple Hawa's dragon. Dude, Hawa's going to take down Enoch. Oh, no. Right. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> and you get a training oh, oh, Enoch. You got Enoch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is this guy? 
I got. Um, I got cable. I got Singa from the Cretaceous okay. tribe. Mareku from the Triassic tribe. Oh, yours is like a Triceratops yeah. guy. Did you get a little weapon? Everybody get a little weapon. Oh, one? I. Oh, it's got oh, like good. a little peg thingy that peg plugs into it. Yeah. Yep. Hold on. Okay. Oh. It's got like a spiked club thing. I've got like Mine's a nasty Mine's got a battle axe. Knife. He's awesome. Oh, cool. He has a very uncomfortable looking neck, though. <laughs> oh, and you got like one of the little gemstone things in your axe. See, because the package That's says, awesome. look for the power stone weapon. You have a power stone weapon. Wow. <laughs> My guy's like going to shiv you on the street. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like a little dagger thing. Yeah. Like, hey. Oh, these are awesome. Look at him. He's got a spiked club. That's awesome. <laughs> And they all have glow in the dark teeth, right? Yeah. Oh, they do. They have glow oh, in the dark teeth. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh wow. This is gonna look great at night, like on the shelf, and you just have a bunch of just, teeth. Just a bunch glowing. of teeth glow. <laughs> awesome. That's amazing. Creepy. What do these go for? Just a couple bucks? I think they're three ninety nine or something. Yeah, I think they were three ninety nine a piece. That's cool. So, they're a little more expensive than some of the other blind bags I pick up, but yeah, but they're dinosaurs. There's, yeah, they're dinosaurs. Knock. Dinosaurs with weapons. Oh yeah, look at this guy. He's the leader of the Jurassic <laughs> tribe. And they're all kind of bendy, not really any articulation or anything, but you don't need it. I mean, it's... Yeah. It also comes with a trading card. It looks like a game or something. Has their power on it. Oh, it has yeah. a weapon, bite, claws, and armor. Weapon, bite, claws, armor. A, there's probably instructions at predatorscom Yeah, it looks like it. Because what is the 64%, 36%, oh, 70%? There is. There's rules on the back. There's a whole thing. Oh. If we read... But we don't read. Why, why would we read? This is, this is Toy Break. We don't Rare read Rare Volterics, number 25. All right, cool. So you could, if you decided to read this, play a game. But more importantly... Dinosaurs with weapons. Dinosaurs with weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, and there's 25 so of them to collect. That's I got, cool. I bet you could feel these in the package. Yeah, it seems like, like it'd be if you easy If you got one of these out... And From the word on our forum is that if you pick up the heaviest one, the heaviest one is the rare guy, the number 25. Volterix. The Volterix. Really? So apparently if you can feel them out in the store and try and pick can, the heavy one. Can you feel which is rare or do you need to bring someone, a scale with them? They you? said that they felt the heavy one. Because I've seen people it. take scales to measure collectible minifigs. A scale? That. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. It's a little weird. <laughs> I know they have those, uh, like, the apps on your phone for, like, the Lego minifigures yeah. where you can scan them and figure out Yeah, it out doesn't work anymore. Is. Yeah, I know. They, they... Lego! Lego! Lego is on to it. We're still going to stand yeah. there and feel them. Just put the barcodes back. <laughs> Come on. Back, you in, think? back in high school, I brought a metal detector to the comic book shop I worked at to find the hologram cards in the sets. Really? Before cheat. they made foil packs to <laughs> protect them from cheat. that happening. Cheater. And they actually they actually put something out to protect that. Well, they, yeah. the packs used to be in like just a regular paper, paper pack. pack. Uh huh. And you could find the hologram card with a metal detector. So now they come in metal foil packs, right. so you don't know what. That's they're... that's awesome. <laughs> was it like a big metal detector? Yeah. Like you look like a well, like I a worked beach there. Nerd? I was the only one in the store, oh. so. I... <laughs> I mean, it was a fold-up one. It wasn't like I was like, it wasn't like a backpack with a battery in it. It was just a crappy little one. But so in my head, you were a Ghostbuster, basically looking for. This. I found like it was like a thirteen-dollar card at the time. With my, it was wow. the Punisher hologram. Wow, awesome. Do you know where it is now? Trading yeah. cards, man. Remember when those were the thing? I do. Let's I have bring a, them back. I have like a whole binder full of superhero trading cards still at home from when I was a kid. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. These All are right. cool. Thanks for coming on, Christine. Say bye to everybody. Be polite. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm all waving to you. I'm like, bye. Topwell. I don't even know what that is. Dinosaurs. <laughs> all right, so what's up next? And with that, we're moving on to reviews. All right, so we have several fun things here. Let's start out with something, something very familiar. I've well, never familiar seen. To someone I've here. never seen one of those in my life. <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's a patched together box. It's just white, and it doesn't say what's on it. No, just oh. Um, so. So unlike someone here, we have. get ours about five days oh, after. Oh yeah. The funny thing is the. Shipping center is about an hour from here, uh -huh. and it we takes about to five them. days to get here because uh. first they send them to Nevada, really, yes. and yeah. then it comes back here. Yeah. What is up with that? Dude? <laughs> yeah, they mine go all over the country before they yeah. get to me. My subscription figures it like loops around just for uh -huh. fun. Yeah, yeah. 
Weird. Uh, so what you don't, River. what we are talking about, this is the Mechanek from the Master Universe Classic figure. Sweet. So Good now figure. you've already reviewed this. I have, yes. You did an excellent job. Thank so you. So you don't have to go in depth again, but we thought we'd have something on that you're pretty much an expert in this stuff. So <laughs> we, we wanted you to show off your skills right. and uh, tell us. Now we've pre-opened this because George is a nutball. <laughs> That's the reason? Yeah. Interesting. Because we can't just rip it open. We have to save it. <laughs> I keep certain parts of the package. There's nothing wrong with that. I keep all the card backs. Oh, That's here. what I keep. Here's a head. <laughs> And some broken he, rubber He took band. his head off. I didn't mean to. Already? <laughs> he Jeez. came off. We don't even get to see him in the small version? Great. Now I'm the one breaking everything. Way to go. So Mechanic's pretty exciting because, if you remember, he's got a mechanical mask. Indeed he does. There may be people that haven't seen him yet. So, like, yeah, well, the vintage okay, figure. The, Do you mind? The vintage you? figure. <laughs> but... He had like the the neck growing feature, like you turned yes. his waist and his head would extend when you turned his waist. So until it eventually broke, right? And, and then it didn't anymore. And that was always a cool action feature, but you know it always bugged me as a kid, as I hated how I couldn't have his neck extended without standing him on the shelf like this. You know, right. that drove me crazy. Right. Like his body always had to be turned sideways. So that's one of the things that has been corrected with this because you know no action features in the collector's line. Right. Now we just take his head off, and we pop on the neck. <laughs> and then we put his head back on top of that. Bam! But what if Mechanic. that neck's not long enough? So that's about the size of the neck would have been if it had it been an action feature, yes. right? Yes, okay. yep, yep. So it's a two-inch neck. So it's a two-inch extension. Makes it bigger. But one of the that's things... That's what she said. That's... <laughs> <laughs> one of the cool things that Mattel included with this is this ridiculously gigantic... Six-inch. Yep. It's like five inch neck that sits on top of the body that you put the head on top of so he could get even longer. <laughs> now, if I remember the old one correctly, it did not have as much detail on it either. It, it, sort it of, didn't. It was very shallow. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of had like, uh, one of the things that the original had was all that vac metal on it though too, because like the eyes were like mm -hmm. vac metal and they were kind of oh, okay. shiny and everything. And honestly, that's something that I think I would have preferred to see on this version too. Mm. But I like shiny things. But then things. it wouldn't have matched. I like shiny things. The rest of the That's line. true. That's true. And the vac metal stuff does tend to flake off a lot too. And I think that's probably why they chose not to do it. Probably kids licking it. It's probably That's probably not something. good for him. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, would you display yours with that giant neck on no. it? It looks ridiculous. He would it does. put both necks and, together. And, and, and well, yeah, that's really... what's really silly is you can do that. Now, <laughs> it, it's got like the blue collar on the bottom. I don't really know why did they do why that. Why they, they did that. Had, they could have skipped that. And... Could, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like it still works. You could still clip it together. You just got that blue ring in the middle of it. But yeah, look at that. Now it's like seven <laughs> inches tall. <laughs> just the neck. <laughs> We need to leave it like that for our, for our collection. No. I, like, I, that looks retarded. Come on. Oh. <laughs> you ever wonder where he keeps all that neck, too? Like, yes. Yeah, and, like the 2002 cartoon, it always just like kept stretching and stretching and yeah. stretching. He's like, where does that neck come from? It's like a magician. But, yeah. Yeah, I actually, I actually have them just displayed normal right now on my shelf. But I put the little one on. I think the, little, the, the little the neck little is, yeah. yeah that's definitely that's the, appropriate. That's family. Friendly. It seems yeah. <laughs> it's family friendly. It does seem like the that's more appropriate right. way to display them. Well, I and more shelf space for that. I think this wouldn't even fit on our shelf. That we put these. No, on. it won't fit on mine for sure. It's like yeah, it's way too tall. Mattel's trying to get us to not. Maybe Mattel owns IKEA. They want us to buy that some they more. They want us to buy oh, more shelves. That's the way it works. I just figured this out. You're onto the conspiracy. I've got it. Anyway, this is. A, one of the classics that I think people have been waiting for. It is. He's obviously. he's one of those like core members of the heroic warriors. So he's one of those guys that people have been like clamoring for since the line started. So he's he's kind of a big one. So he's here. He's Yay! here. Yeah. Huzzah. And uh, if you want more amazingness, Pixel Dan does this all the time. He has all the figures before they come out. So you can be like, yes, I can't wait to get that. Or, oh, I'm so glad I didn't sign up for that. Whatever, whatever your decision is about that, you can go check him out on his uh, page over at pixel-dan.com. Yes, absolutely. I actually have a whole section dedicated just to the Masters of the Universe reviews. So nice. it's very easy just to click on the link and bam, they're right there, all in order of the way they came out. So And we tend to not review them just because it's by the time we review them, they're already sold out. Uh-huh. So and it's like it makes no sense. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Like, yeah. So go over and check out his reviews because you can see it ahead of time and decide if you want to buy the figure or not. You can also nice. subscribe to him on YouTube. That's a good idea. That's too. true. I am on YouTube. If you prefer, some people I know they just they don't ever want to leave YouTube. Some people so, do. Some people, yeah. Yeah. If uh, I'm on YouTube, 
It's the name's a little bit harder there because I've had the account there for a lot longer. So it's youtube.com slash Mandalorian30. Yeah, that's a nice can't Star Wars. That, huh? Star Wars. You can't change it. You can't. <laughs> yeah. If I could switch that to where it was just slash Pixel Dan, that'd be great. But no, nope, that'd can't be a whole it. new thing. Yeah. You gotta tell everybody to yep. go subscribe to that. Yep. Yep. And but really if you just if you just do a search for like Pixel Dan reviews, it'll pop up with probably everything. a link on your page. Yeah, and there's a link on my page, so that's <laughs> always an easy way to get there too. All right, so next up we have a Slimer <gasps> plush figure. He's staring at me, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was gonna no no sliming. All right, so this is from Underground Toys. Hey, famous for their Doctor Who stuff. It's a nine-inch talking plush. It goes for twenty bucks. Nice. Let's hear it talk. He would talks. You like, would you like to? Well, I don't know if you can call it talking. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I like it. <laughs> oh, he's eating. <laughs> That's the same thing. So he's, so he's got two so he's different got a grand total of two noises. This for is how you get him going down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about this is you get to enjoy Slimer without all the slime. Oh yeah, that's that's always nice. So that's exciting. Only the ectoplasm all over our house. Can we take this sticker off? Does it, is this a sticker? It was on their other Doctor Who stuff. It seems like it's like really stuck on there. Okay, we will eventually get this sticker off. But this is actually a really soft, nice plush. Come you on. can do it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. Much. He was not. No. Look, he's got like a belly button now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I don't know. I really I like. like I really like the look of this guy. Like, I don't usually like the plush versions yeah. of characters. He's kind of got like a little bit of the cartoon element to his, yeah. like his the way his face is. He's oh, if I had a happy and he's got like the little eyes with the pupils in him. You could totally do that. <laughs> <laughs> The, the Halloween episode of the real Ghostbusters oh, with yeah, Sam yeah, yeah. and he's wiggling him back and forth. That's always my favorite scene. And Slimer's like... <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I do. Actually, I do. No, I know you do, but I, no. they probably... Do you guys know it? I don't know. <laughs> Ghostbusters. No idea. Yay! All right, let's get into the good part here. Let's get to the good... Get out of here, Slimer. We're done with you. I like that Slimer, though. I oh, wait. He's right. This is the good part. I know. I agree. <laughs> So this, so you're in town for PowerCon. I am in town Actually, for PowerCon. Actually, you're in town to be on Toy Break, but it happened oh, yeah. to coincide. Just, yeah, I think I'm going to go to that PowerCon. He-Man convention while I'm here, since it's going it on It sounded the same cool, time. Right? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Like, yeah. Whatever, it's happening. <laughs> and uh, there's something very cool coming out at the convention, mm -hmm. and we have it here to look at. It's the Weapon Ears of Monka. Ooh. And I like to say it like that because it's got two A's. Monka. Monka. I'll figure out how to actually say it tomorrow. But this is I, the new spy it. monkey stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. This Ooh. stuff. I've ha I've looked at it for about a grand total of five seconds. Look yeah, it comes with the hat. These. What color do you want? You want this? I want the blue, 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 ice golem, crystal golem. Oh, he's got like. Uh... So if you go to. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> now it's clear. If you go to spymonkeycreations.com, you can go over to weaponearsofmonka.com and read a story about all these characters. And then you'll be like, oh, there's like a whole backstory. Like, there's two brothers and they separate. There's the light and the shadow and they have to keep balance in the world. And then all these golems start forming. And then there's the crystal golem and you get to really love him and he's awesome. And I was like, I hope there's a crystal golem. And of course there was because Spy Monkey's awesome and they make everything. Nice. So you might know Spy Monkey from, they make a lot of accessories that you can use with your Masters of the Universe figures or other six inch type figures, mm -hmm. but they can also be used to make their own creations, kind of like the Glyos. They're interchangeable with Glyos. Right, right, yeah. So they're really versatile. So much fun. Oh really versatile. Yeah. So you should definitely check out their weapon packs, but this is their whole new character line of original characters. Oh, yeah. Look at that head. Not just weapons. Yeah, I already changed the head on this guy, so he's got like this <laughs> longer head. He's got like a cool little hook hand. Oh, these are great. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. It's the hook. <laughs> the claw. The, the claw. The claw is gonna get you. <laughs> Do they all come with all the heads? Yeah, it looks like it. Because like, he's got, oh, look at his... Head. Oh, his hands. Look, his hands are heads, are heads too. too. This comes off too. The... Oh, cool. So they've so... got these guys like completely interchangeable you can and just this mix like and match a skeletor head do you have that one yeah that's oh. the bad guy that's um no that's not on this one unless it's what's his name is it a leg um, piece um, or anything like no it doesn't, doesn't here, here's like the cards umbris umbris 
So there's also a set of cards. He's totally like purple and yellowish green too. Look at, he's look totally at the got art this. on these. Like, oh wow! I know, right? Oh, there we go. So you can take Crystal the little golem. Isn't he awesome? You can take the little chest piece off with the icon, and I'm assuming you can change it around. There's one on each side of this guy. I'm assuming you could change it with others because when every golem is born, they have to like kind of hang out in the world for a while. And figure out if they're gonna like go with the shadow or go with that, the light. Like they have to choose their affiliation. That is really cool. Yeah. So, so like, I'm assuming you could change those. He's out. got like a team. Yeah. Like an insignia on his chest. Oh yeah. Look here. You can just the swap back of those the off. You can see there's good guys and bad guy symbols. Oh. Cool. And then the golem is a half and half. You could pick which way he's gonna go. And it's kind of like the old Transformers Whoa, where it, they have the. Yeah. Speaking of Transformers, look how Transformer know, right? that head looks. <laughs> it's actually kind of like look at him. He's like, oh, I'm alert. I'm happy. And then he's like. Oh, I'm sure. That's a total transformer head. Oh wow! Well, that is that is really cool. Well, I remember. Um, I think like what part of the idea behind this whole line was, because they were doing you know all the their thing was the weapons, all the armory yes. stuff, and the, the whole idea behind this was supposed to be like the guys who designed those weapons, and it yes. was supposed to it's supposed to have some kind of a tie to all those '80s properties, those popular '80s yes. properties. Yes. Go. Read the story because it is cool. It explains all that stuff. I, I know, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah. I think you'll really enjoy it. I need it. to and go like, actually read through the whole story. Like so the golems it's... are coming and they're arming everybody to help in their fight. And like, well, it looks like it there's really also going to be stuff. accessory packs of weapons. He's got an arm cannon now. Where is this one open? Open. Thank you. So here, look at all the rest of the weapons that you could actually put on that guy. Oh, like guns and swords and knives and oh yeah. So this is Imperius. Oh, it's okay. It went down there somewhere. It's down there. So that's Imperius, and he's he used to be his brother. So he's like the good guy. Yeah. And this is the bad guy. He's the bad guy. Oh. I believe yeah, that one's Imperius. These are so cool. And really, it's just it's so nice. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's Pal. That's Paladar. That's. The good guys. God, how much does this console? just look like that an one's... Autobot? Doesn't that look like some kind of an Autobot? Yeah, totally. Yeah, that one's Imperious. I, in my head, that one looks like him. That's funny. Because like when you read the story, you have like an idea in your head of which one looks like right, which. Right, yeah. Okay, so he's the good guy. He's the, Now he's got Imperious. guns for hands. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> That's the total Constructicon's color, too. Oh, like... it is. Absolutely. The, the bright green and the purple. If you Very like Constructicon. Glyos, you have to get these. If you like Transformers, you're going to be into these. It's like Transformers, He-Man, and Glyos mixed together. Yeah, to form absolutely. This line. And they feel like so cool. They're so like squat and like. Yeah, they've got that great squat like '80s toy feel to them. The way that they're kind of like. Look at that head. Oh yeah, that's so like like the green version. That's so. Well, good. I like because like the the fist is also a head. There's just a great. You can just really mix and match these, and of course they're gonna also fit in with the Glio stuff or the Outer Spacemen stuff from the Four Horsemen. Yes. Or oh my gosh, there's just like so many possibilities. The ever expanding these. system. Whew. Is this kind. Of, wow, look at these fists. I really like the the mixed silver marbled look on this one. Yeah, it's cool. He must be. He's the, the opposite of this guy. Yes, but they're friends. Oh good. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't really worried. We didn't get the magma golem out. We're going to take all of them? Magma Why not? God, there we go. So you guys need to go to spymonkeycreations.com. They have a store online. You can go check this. Oh, look at him. Look at him glow. Uh... Oh, I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> these are my favorite, these two. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Hey, buddy, high five. And then what's not on the table? Oh, tricked you. What team are you on? I'm on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It's cool that they come with both the. Yeah, the good Giro. guy and the. Yeah, you can put whatever little. Logo Giro you. and Vilhain. Vilhain. I love that. Giro and Vilhain. Nice. I know, right? <laughs> I see what they did there. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> these are really, really nice figures. Oh, these you are check fantastic. These out. All right, well, if you're at PowerCon, you probably already got these. And if not, spymonkeycreations.com. Do it. Right Do now. it now. <laughs> you need to be on the show more. I like the, uh, <laughs> the energy you bring. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm just kind of... Some people are like, you're oh, like, that just, guy again. Like, oh, we're on a God. show? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're filming this? I thought we were just playing with toys. 
This is what I do. Yeah, the art on this is amazing. <laughs> they did a really great job on this. Do, who's the artist on them? Does I have say? no idea. They um, are really cool looking. They're very, and they feel very like 80s-ish too. Like it looks like uh Yeah, I mean it's got the total 80s vibe of yeah. like 80s art. Oh, That's nice. Umbrios. It said who the artist this was online, fantastic. but I don't remember. And I love that. You got, you got the little bio on the back and the stats. Wisdom, strength, agility, armor, forge power. Gotta make weapons. They're forging. This, these are awesome. Weapon ears of Well thumbs. done, guys. Well done. That's six thumbs I love. I love it. it yeah. <laughs> I like it when my friends make cool toys. <laughs> I think we just need to go back to I like toys. I like toys. <laughs> also, I love toys. All right, so coming up soon that you can go to and check out some toys yourself, BrickCon, which is a Lego fan convention at the Seattle Center in Seattle, Washington, October 6th and 7th. You can check out BrickCon.org. Also, of course, New York Comic Con at the Javits Center in New York City, October 11th to 14th, NewYorkComicCon.com. Come get your exclusive stealth OMFG. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> and the JPK Star Wars show at Yo-Yo Mart in New York on October 11th johnpaulkaiser.com those are some cool uh, John Paul Kaiser Star Wars customs uh, I think it's only that one night but double check that uh, a postcard from New Yorkshire exhibition of new artwork by Dr. A at My Plastic Heart in New York City from October 12th to November 12th myplasticheart.com again conveniently coincides with New York Comic Con so you are not going to be bored at all right? oh and also the Designer Toy Awards will be Saturday night you can go to designertoyawards.com check that out and since it's almost here, I'm going to start talking about it. Designer Con! Yay! Annual art and design convention that smashes together collectible toys and designer apparel with urban, underground, and pop art at the Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, California, November 3rd, designercon.com. Doors open at 9 a.m. this year. Get there early. Not like you weren't going to anyway. Because I've seen you guys line up, but you're nuts. <laughs> Dude, they were there at like 3 a.m. Wow. I have people do that. I man. love it. I it's love like, them. Yeah, enthusiasm. I had a donut last year. It was good. <laughs> It's good. Somebody awesome. I know, right? <laughs> These are the things that stand out. There were some toys there. Donuts? But I had a donut. Yeah, those are good. <laughs> All right, so that's it for episode 234. Don't forget, you can save money. By using coupons from Toy Break, just go to toybreak.com. You can get all the details on where you can save money and what coupon codes to use, as well as links to everything we talk no. about, like the weapon ears of Monka. Monka. <laughs> Monka. You can also watch past episodes. You can join the contests in the form. You can join the discussions in the form. You can download Paper Toys of Us. There's three different versions by Alexander Gwynn, Zakane, and Castleford. You can support the show. Go to uh, toybreak.com, click the Amazon link, do your shopping as normal. Huge help to us. Thank you so much to everybody who's been doing it. Uh, also, you can call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can follow us uh, on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can email us, info at toybreak.com. You can watch our full episodes and toy briefs and all sorts of other little toy goodies on youtube.com slash toybreak. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. <laughs> Pixel Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for being on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Was I it had mostly a blast. painless? Yeah, mostly. Mostly. There's a little. It, uh, He's sitting on a bed of spikes, <laughs> but other than that, it's been fine. I've had a blast. Thanks for having me. This so, is awesome. Would you like to uh, tell us where you, we can find you online again? Sure. Can, just in sure. case you didn't hear the first time. Sure. www.pixel-dan.com is going to be the best place to find me. You can find uh, all my videos there. I've got um, lots of photos from conventions, lots of coverage, lots of interviews. I do all kinds of crazy things like that. So, uh, pixel-dan.com. Make sure you put the dash in the middle of my name. Otherwise, you're not going to find the site. You could probably just do pixel dan and google yeah that's us. true pixel dan and google you'll definitely find me uh you can find me on youtube by just searching my name and then i'm also on twitter and facebook and instagram all at the pixel dan name so very Find easy the to link in the show notes at toybreak.com. Show notes. And now we usually have a toy break but I was wondering if you could take us out with a special uh, a special out. And now by the power of Grayskull here's your power con break. <laughs>